On the Sugar Probe Report, members of parliament have differed over the shooting down of the Sugar Report that was tabled in the National Assembly on Thursday. Sunna East Member of Parliament Jeanette Mohammed, Nandi Hills Alfred Keter and their Mumias East counterpart Benjamin Washiali openly differed over the move, with Washiali calling for a direct intervention from, from President Uhuru Kenyatta to address the burning issues in the sugar sector. The three legislators spoke yesterday on the sidelines of an ongoing joint retreat for the Procedure and House Wills Committee, the House Business Committee and the Lazen Committee in Mombasa. Following the move by the majority of legislators on Thursday this week to trash the sugar report by the Joint Parliamentary Committee investigating the importation of illicit sugar in the country, illicit reactions have continued to emerge on the matter. Sunna East MP Junet Mohammed, who is also the National Assembly Minority Whip, called for the investigative agencies to take over the matter since the Kanini Haji led committee did a short job. Ordinarily, Parliament, that is how it works. It's about numbers. You can lose a good agenda because of numbers, you can win a, a good agenda because of numbers. So, if majority of the members of the view and decision that they are not supporting the report as has been prepared by the Joint Committee, then uh, there are other ways. It's not the end of life. It's not the end of the matter. Junet now argues that the importation of illicit sugar is a criminal issue and the matter can now best rest with the agencies, adding that there is no need of tasking another parliamentary committee to do the work as it will be a waste of taxpayers' money. There are other agencies that can still carry on investigations. The DCI, for example, is, is obligated in law to, to go and do proper investigation into those issues and uh, take appropriate action, that is, if necessary. Nandi Hills MP Alfred Keter on his part thinks that Parliament should now task the National Assembly Committee on Health to take over the sugar investigation following the rejection of the report done by the Kenny MP-led committee. And that is the reason why the committee was set. But they ended up uh, starting uh, their own, forming their own question formulating their own question, coming up with their terms of reference, now coming up with their observations and making recommendations that, that are illegal and unconstitutional, it is very wrong and very unfortunate because we have used a lot of resources to allow that committee to sit. They were facilitated by parliament, which is uh, the, the, the funded by the, uh, the taxpayers' money. Mumias East Member of Parliament, Benjamin Oshali, who is a friend of the committee, defended the sugar report saying that parliament missed an opportunity to address the problem facing the sugar sector by shooting down the report. Um, parliament lost an opportunity to rein in because by importing one million tons and yet the country only needs 200,000 shortfall from uh, local manufacturing you are actually saying that we have imported sugar that we would have imported in the next five years. So what are you telling the sugar farmers? You are telling sugar farmers uh, to go to hell in a few words. Is that what you are saying? All this comes even as some member of parliament claim that naked bribery happened to Rodrick members to trash the report. I want to agree and I want to go on record that uh, yesterday the Honorable Fatuma Gedi tried to bribe me with 10,000 shillings. I asked her whether she's out, she was out of her senses because it is, it's immoral for a woman to be an agent of corruption. And uh, the only hope, parliament is incapacitated. Parliament has been bought out by money. They have no moral authority to investigate this matter. The question of how safe the sugar we consume is now lies on the hands of investigative agencies. Aaron Mwangi, KUTV.